Hello, my name's Stuart, Gold Middle Distance Racers, and today I'm doing uh, 1500 meters World Cup in 1981. We've got Steve Ovec going. Let's see how he does against the world's top 1500 meter runners. Of course, uh, the only man in, not in this race who is a top 1500 meter runner was, of course, Sebastian Coe, but that's because he's doing the 800. He's running the 800 meters. He was selected for Europe to run the 800. In the days before the World Championships, which we've now got every two years, we had the World Cup, um, which was every two years, I believe. But there was no heats or anything. There was just uh, just one race final. And it was the continents, each continent put out a team. And then, just excuse this, just a slight interruption. Um, and then the top countries, which was generally the GDR, um, the Soviet Union, America, and Ovet and Co. representing Europe, because obviously they were the best, uh, best in their event in Europe at the time. So 57.6 first lap, fairly quick, fairly quick. And I think that's, uh, we've got Mike Boyd, Olaf Bayer, John Walker, You wouldn't expect a race like this to be too fast because the, they're trying to win for their respective uh, countries or con or teams. And so there's Ovet there taking it fairly easy in uh, alongside John Walker. Another interruption in the broadcast, but you know I'm grateful. Uh, I'm grateful to Dino's channel for this providing this um, this recording. There's a link back to his channel if you want to watch the race without my commentary. So, 157, they've slowed. Second lap was about one minute. First lap then was about 57.5. Second lap, one minute. So, um, it has developed into a tactical affair. Steve Ovet is in fourth place at the moment in this race. And he will be just making sure that he's in good position. He won't want to get trapped on the rails like he has done on one or two occasions. And he's had to nudge his way out. Sometimes, uh, you know, knocking two over uh, two athletes over in the process, uh, which has happened. So last lap. So I think, oh, it's so difficult to know what the uh, clock stopped on as they went through. Was that 2.35? 235 with a lap to go. No, it couldn't have been that because um, I think it was more like 237, 238. But they didn't stop the clock and the clocks disappeared. So let's see how they go in the last 300 meters. Bound to be a fast burn up in the last. And um, Mike Boyd has gone really quickly. Ovet is chasing him down. Byers still there. Walker's struggling a bit. Not sure who that. Oh, I'm not sure who that other athlete is. That uh, it's not Sydney Marie, is it? Um, is that Sydney Marie? I don't know. Okay, so here goes uh, Ovet. Classic Ovet just goes straight past Mike Boyd, opens up a nice gap, makes it look easy. He's just gliding, gliding all the way through. And um, so 334.96, 335. It's difficult to tell what the last lap was, but because I didn't get a split on the uh, last lap. If anybody knows what that split is, I'd be interested to know. My guess is the last lap would have been about 54-ish because they didn't really start going until about 250 meters out. Um, and actually, that's quite a fast time. Uh, you know, 334, it's similar. Um, I do apologize. Uh, I just realized that this is Steve Ovet's second appearance for Europe in the World Cup, because of course, his famous race in 1977, I'd forgotten about that, when he ran actually a similar time, 334.5. So he's run slightly slower here, but it's a, you know, a different race, but he still looked obviously very impressive. And I do believe that had he gone um, at 250 meters out full speed, uh, his, his, the gap would have been even greater. As, he was, as it was, he let Boyt go. He just made sure the gap was not too large. Let's just have another look at that then, just to sort of reinforce what I'm saying. 
So it's Boyt that goes and he tries to break Ovet's kick. You can see that he's really going. He's flat out. There's no way that Ovet is flat out there. He's waiting for the right time to go. He could go here and he could leave them all standing like he did in Dusseldorf. But, you know, he's he's, um, he's decided to play it a different way and he's going to he's going to hang around and wait. We'll just wait for the right time to go for whatever reason. He just wants to win the race for Europe. And there he goes. They're all struggling in his wake, of course. Bayer's coming through very strongly, and Walker is chasing him down. It looks to me like Walker got that, second place. So, uh, one thing I did want to do, because I listened to this before, I just want to turn the uh, volume up here on the commentary. It's foreign. I'm not sure what the language is, but let's have a listen to it. Can anybody translate that? I heard that he mentioned Sebastian Coe. Uh, at first he said Sebastian Coe. I'm not too sure what he was saying. And then he said Steve Ovet. I like the enthusiasm in his voice though. Let's have a listen to that one more time and indulge ourselves. He mentions Bayer. <laughs> Why did he mention Sebastian Coe? What did he say? Does anybody know? I'd be, I'd be really interested. You know, if you could let me know what, to, what he actually said about Sebastian Coe. I'm trying to imagine um, if I was commenting. Um, there goes Seb there goes the great rival of Sebastian Coe, leaving them all uh, behind. Nobody can touch him. Uh, I don't know. Um, obviously, I don't speak the language. Uh, let me know. I'd be really interested. But um, well, that's all for now. Very impressive win. And it was great to great to relive that relive that race, and I I hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, so uh, somebody left a, a comment asking me to review El Garouge's uh, 1500 meter world record. Uh, I I must confess my knowledge of the era from say Morselli onwards is very very poor. I'm not the right person. Um, I'm not the right person for doing that, and. Hopefully somebody else will start up a channel similar to this one, a homage maybe to uh, the great um, Algerian and Moroccan runners um, from the 90s. But I haven't got sufficient knowledge. I wouldn't know what to, I wouldn't know how to comment on on those races. So I'll, I'll have to apologise and leave that to somebody else. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back again soon with another race. Bye for now.